Howdy folks and welcome back to the game that gives me explosive diarrhea. It's XCOM Terror from the Deep. Now this is the sequel to XCOM UFO Defense. And I believe it came out in 1997. And if you played the original game and you thought it was hard, well you haven't you haven't learned anything yet because this game is about four trillion times harder I've only beat successfully finished this game once and that was on beginner so we're gonna be doing this playthrough on experienced and essentially the game is largely the same but it's underwater there's new aliens Research is a little bit different, a little bit wonky, to be honest. Um, and, yeah, a hell of a lot harder. Let's see. So we're going to do all the same stuff as we would normally do on UFO defense. So we want large radar, which in this case is called wide array sonar. Because, of course, things are underwater, so you use radar, not sonar, of course. Uh, we're going to want alien containment. Um, uh, living quarters and a general stores. Okay, and we're gonna need some more scientists, of course. Gonna need more people, and I'm gonna want. Let's see. Now, one of the mechanics that they introduced in this game was land-based, or I should say, really ocean-based technology. So, torpedo launchers, um, hydrojet cannons, etc. There's a bunch of weapons that you have access to that are that only work underwater. Now, that isn't a problem most of the time because most of your uh, missions are underwater. But there are still terror missions that are on land when the aliens attack shipping routes, cruise ships, and port cities and islands. So, when you're on land, you, you're limited. To weapons that work on land which is quite frustrating uh, let's see chemical flares these are your electro flares basically and uh geez which one of these is the right is this the normal grenade i don't think it is die grenade is a smoke grenade uh, I guess this is the right go grenade. Yeah. Okay. So. Gonna wanna put the DUP head on. That's the equivalent of an avalanche, basically. And then. Dart guns are completely useless, and we're playing on experience, so they're even more useless, I assume. Gas cans are actually somewhat decent. Hydrojet, nah. I'm not gonna bother with the torpedo launcher either. And okay, that looks fine for now. So we don't need these. Or these, I'm gonna keep the jet harpoons just in case. And we'll sell those as well. Okay. Hopefully something happens. Okay. I forgot to start research. <laughs> well, guess I'll die. That's not a problem. We lost. He actually lost a few days of research time. That is not ideal. Hmm, I don't like that nothing is happening. North Atlantic. Like, I should be detecting that, man. South Pacific. 
South China Sea. Oh, come on, man. Indian Ocean? It's a load of barnacles. Okay. Not sure how useful medikits are going to be on the, in this game. Because I've never played on an experienced. And UFO defense, your soldiers are a little bit tougher. So they tend to not just straight up die as often. Which makes medikits a little bit more useful. Not sure if that's going to be the case here or not. Okay. Good thing we bought those flares. I usually forget, but not today. Uh, we'll go half and half. And then... Yeah, 2 AP. And... 14 HE. Um... Okay. Hopefully it doesn't take off before I get there. Alright. First mission in the middle of the night. It's not ideal, but it's what we have to work with, so that's what we're going to do. Okie dokie then. Really? We're like right in the middle of a map? That's awesome. Oh wait, there's an edge over here. Okay, that's something. Whoopsie. I hate underwater, or nighttime missions I should say. And in this game, losing soldiers is just straight up an inevitability. So, don't get attached. Don't worry about losing people. As long as you win the mission, that's pretty much all you can do sometimes. Okay, is this the ship? I believe this is an alien ship over here. Thanks, very cool. Oh, it's aquatoids, the underwater sectoids. Thanks, very cool. Aim shot, 34% accuracy, and no line of fire. Well, that's just fine. this like over the ship how about now okay wait is this oh crap this is a large scout equivalent and these ships are very annoying the ship designs in this game also are very troll they make they give the aliens a much easier time of disposing of your soldiers as they're coming in the ship. Man, these people suck. You know what? Let's just see if we can't throw a grenade over there, eh? Out of range. Of course it is. Fuck that. Oh, that was pretty much inevitable. 
where did he walked over here. Now, if you could throw a grenade over there, out of range. Okay, thank you. Okay, also the maps in this game are much bigger on average is really annoying because it's it just adds un unnecessary elements of ex exploration to the game where oftentimes you're just looking for that last alien which is in like a really trolley spot or whatever so there's also lots of terrain so it's easier for aliens to hide and such. Okay. Wow. A jet harpoon actually killed something in one hit. That is slightly uncommon. Okay, so that was out of range, but over here wasn't. Okay. Let's see, if I name people after SpongeBob characters in this game, it'll make a lot more sense. But then they're gonna die and I'm gonna get sad, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Another thing in this game is that there's pretty much no such no such thing as a short mission, which is pretty annoying. But I mean, like I said, the maps are bigger, and uh, the ships are trollier. So pretty much everything that's troll in the original game, just turn it up a little bit in this game, and that's. That's the level of troll you get. Oh, also the clip sizes are smaller. Which is really annoying. Just lots of quality of life. Uh, what's the opposite of, of, of an improvement? A deduction? Doesn't really feel like the right term. Uh, of course, it's not doing what I would expect. Of course, just like the original game, the aliens don't care about uh, nighttime, so... You are a little screwed in that regard. Especially early game like this, because I pretty much had no choice but to go after this mission. Like late game, this is definitely a mission that I would have ignored. But I really didn't have that option. Do you have AP? Sweet. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Got away with one there. That was... This guy got shot at, I believe. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. I was not expecting him to actually hit that guy. Okay, this guy. Yeah, see, this is also another thing the terrain. Like, these, there's these uh, multi layered pieces of terrain on most maps, which is really annoying. Until you get the flying suits, it makes it m so much easier to traverse the maps. 
assume that you're underwater, you would think that you would be able to fly by default just because you can, you know, like swim upwards. But sadly, that is not the case. Hmm. I kind of doubt there's going to be any aliens over here. But you never know. Only got two people over here though, so if somebody one of these guys dies, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, you know what? I want you to throw this first. Okay. Don't want to take AP and or HE into the ship. For obvious reasons. Doubt there's gonna be any more outside at this point. But yeah, you can see how big this map is. This is one, two, three. Is this is a six by six. This is six by six. So this is 36 square tiles, and this is a small ship. I mean, in the original game, this would have been what a four by four maybe a five by five I think I just wasted a bunch of my soldiers turns right there but oh well yeah there's nothing left outside not useful thanks I'm gonna check though just in case hopefully the aliens aren't super smart and just grenade me because it would make a lot of sense for him to sacrifice one to kill my guys I've never seen an alien do that before on this game but I've also never played experienced so you never know it seems like in uh, UFO defense on the higher difficulty levels the aliens are much more likely to use grenades. Let's see. Should probably just pick this up. See, the hard thing is with this, the, with the way the train is in this game, even in this case, like. I still kind of have to go over there and check those squares, which is really annoying. Didn't have another, uh, this guy has HG. Hmm. I'm a little surprised no aliens have tried to make a move on me yet. Go towards the ship. Let's 
See, look at that. The only way for me to kill this guy is to uh, step. I, I maybe I could kill him with a grenade. I don't know if that's gonna kill my guys or not though, because I don't know if the door's gonna be closed. Oh yeah, zero time units. Might as well get these guys over here. Oh. Victory Screech! Ah, that, that was pretty good. Let's see what we can sell, because we are low on money. We're not going to need these for a while. Keep one just for posterity's sake. Zerbi is Illyrium. Never sell it. Uh, I could sell a couple of these. I'm probably not going to use them. What are the alien grenades? Oh, sonic pulsers. Yeah, I'm going to want to keep those. Okay, let's see. Um, what items did we get? Uh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Well, all right. Got sonic pistols. Got a blast rifle. I guess I'll research that. All right, guys. I think I'm going to call an episode there. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to XCOM Terror from the Deep. And uh, if you liked the video, like it. If you sub if you really liked it, uh, subscribe. It's free. It helps me out. It costs you nothing. This is a win-win, guys. Um, and yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.